This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Oh, how you going, everybody? It's Elliot here from Jump Jump Die Podcast and YouTube Gaming Channel. Parking around you. And I am playing Zoo, one of the new maps in the Escalation map pack for Call of Duty Black Ops. This is the second map pack, and it has four levels. It consists of Convoy, Zoo, Hotel, and Stockpile, as well as the new zombies, zombie map called Call of the Dead. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about those maps today over this gameplay. So, as I said, this is Zoo, and we're playing Domination. Apparently, they don't like Demolition at Treyarch, because there's no Demolition-specific playlist for the new maps. Oh, well, that's fine. Don't mind. I'll just play Domination. So, I played this with a couple of bros, and um, we had a little bit of fun, but mainly I was pissed off. That's another story. So, Zoo is one of my favorite maps in the map pack. Uh, some of you may disagree with me. Zoo and Stockpile being my two favorites. Um, Zoo is a good balance of close and long range engagements. It has um, some good close corners where you can rush around with your submachine guns and your assault rifles, etc. But also has those long range distances for if you want to snipey snipes. Uh, as a objective map, it's got a lot of uh, variation in the scenery, etc. So there's a lot of different situations you can be in. Uh, and B is actually a really good point to defend and attack. Uh, and I mean that in the sense that it's actually quite fun. Uh, there's a lot of cool ways to circle around. So here I was getting shot from that top window I was just pointing at there. And I decided to circle around underneath uh, and try and find a flanking route on that window so I could take out anyone was in there. Because for some reason I couldn't kill anyone in there. So... Uh, that's what I did, and I didn't know these maps very well when I was playing this. This is like the first time I've played Zoo on this map, this video right now. And, uh, I was just sort of learning the map. So, I don't go very well in this. I, I mean, I do fairly reasonably. It's, it, I'm not gonna tout me at home. I, I think I get about a 3 KD or something like that, but, um, the, that's not the point. The point is that I make a few mistakes, and it's all because I don't really know the map. And, yes. But Zoo, yes, one of my favorites. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about Convoy now. Convoy, uh, it's not my favorite. I'll tell you that now. In fact, I don't like it. It's one of the long-range maps in the map pack. And basically, if you're not running a sniper rifle, you're at a big disadvantage. If you're not running a sniper rifle, a G11, or an M16, you're going to get pissed on. Uh, by no means should you be running a submachine gun, especially in Domination. Maybe in... Maybe in uh, Team Deathmatch, if you're just going to be camping a certain area or staying in the close range areas, which of which there is not many. Uh, but yes, in Domination, you really, really do not want to be running a, submar a submarine. You don't want to be running a submarine because they go underwater. You don't want to be running a submachine gun uh, because there's a lot of long distance fights, uh, particularly on the main road uh, with those two sort of bridges over the road. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't like the multitudes of people uh, using Ghost on that map seem to be Ghost and Snipers, which seem to go hand in hand, so that's that's one of the reasons why I don't like it. Ghost has been really pissing me off lately, and uh, if that's going to be the death of this game for me, it's, it's you know, that is, that's the main reason why I'll stop playing this game. But, I'll move on now. So Convoy, don't like it so much. Hotel's okay, I, I think of that as more of a two towers sort of thing. Like, uh, insofar as uh, if you've played Unreal Tournament or anything like that, they have like a two two fort sort of thing. Also, Team Fortress, uh, they have a two fort map. Uh, it's basically so yeah, like High Rise from Modern Warfare Two, and I think that's a good balance. It's quite a balanced map. Uh, I haven't been able to play it many times yet, so I can't give you a full rundown on that map. But it, I don't know, it looks like a good combination of all sort of aspects of the game. Close, mid, and long range gameplay. As well as like duping and running around corners and, you know, just trying to dupe your enemy and outplay people. So that looks like it could be a fun map. Stockpile is the next map I want to talk about. It's a really cool map. I initially thought this map was going to be shit. And um, I'm quite surprised that I like it. Uh, my main gripe with it was the doors that, you know, you can lock down the main building, the big building in the center. I think it's a warehouse or something. I actually thought that was going to be really, really crap. Apparently, it's it's pretty cool. Like, uh, they said that you could fully lock down that... Oh, this guy gets turned on. What a fucking larrikin, mate. And I nearly die here. 
getting a second chance. Uh, anyway, that's a different story. Second chance is a waste of time. If if I if anyone's ever using it, I don't want to resurrect you because I always die or nearly die. <sighs> so anyway, yeah, those two doors. I initially thought it was going to be shit. Uh, because they were saying that you could fully lock down that room. You can't fully lock down that room. There's like another 14 ways into that main building on uh, Stockpile. So uh, the doors actually play a good role in it because they beep when they're being opened. So you can tell which one is being opened if you use a headset. Uh, and it uh, makes for, for good gameplay when you lock that stuff down and you can defend B a little bit better. It's not completely overpowered, so that's a really good part of it. Um, it's also got a lot of good flanking routes and uh, areas where you can uh, switch around on the enemy and come up behind them if they're chasing you or something like that. But again, it's another one of those maps where people seem to love to use Ghost with their Sans for Masters and pisses me off, I tell you what. So, that would be my rundown of the maps in the new Escalation map pack. Zombies itself, maybe I could put some gameplay up of that, but it's definitely not my favorite zombies map. Definitely not. Uh, there's a few new weapons. There's a new sniper rifle, which is pretty cool. It shoots like these laser bullets that then explode uh, a bit later, which is really damn cool. So that was cool. And there's another gun which turns zombies into living humans, <laughs> which can make for some comedy. Uh, you turn like a zombie into a living human, and then all the other zombies run after him, and they're like, run away. It's fantastic. So that's pretty cool. But the actual map itself kind of pisses me off. Uh, basically, it is George Mar Romero, who's one of the original, like, zombie uh, story writers sort of guys. Made all the old school um, zombie movies. He is, like, the big bad guy on this map. So, like, the scientist in five... Whatever the fucking map that's called. Five somethings. Five jerk-offs, mate. <laughs> I like it. Um... Yeah, he's like the big bad guy, and he's constantly after you, so you can't get... I don't think you can get rid of him. I haven't been that far. I've only been up to, like, level 10 so far, because it seems like a really, really hard map. But, yeah, he's constantly following you. If you shoot him, he'll, like, sprint after you and come after you and, and kill you. So you have to run him through the cold water to chill him out. <laughs> oh, God. Lord Privy Seals. Lord Privy Seals. If you don't know what that is, Google that shit, I'm not telling you. Uh, so that's one of my main gripes with that map. But you can't chill like you could in the other map. So you could get a crawler and then, you know, do your thing. This guy's always after you. It makes it very hard to do anything uh, extracurricular, if you will. That's not a term that makes any sense in this context, but we'll use it. So, um, yeah, that, that would be my main problem with the zombies map. Other than that, I mean, it's, it's okay. Let's let's go out and I'll let me say that. It's no Ascension, though. Ascension is, uh, in my opinion, the best Zombies map they've ever made. Um, it just doesn't feel like uh, Call of the Dead is as... Mm, not well put together, but as thought out in terms of choke points and uh, basically areas you can hold down and use as a base. You can't do that because you've always got this dude coming after you. This big blue fucking asshole. Fuck him. I hate him so much. I'm going to cry now. Anyway, so if you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like Black Ops, you can suck a big penis in your bum. You can put it in your bum. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. Um, I don't know how much more of Black Ops I can take, to be dead honest with you. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting up many more videos of this. And if you watch my channel, you don't watch me for my Black Ops anyway. So uh, if I don't put any more up, don't hate me. Just keep, I don't know playing with me and, and shit and watching my stuff and jerking me off because I like it. And uh, in a second, you're going to see something pretty funny. My good friend Smeggles, just down here, he gets 360 no scope in the face. Actually, it's a 360 hard scope and I'll put that at the end of this video so you can see it and see my friend Smeg getting absolutely butt raped by a dude flying through the air spinning around like a twat. Okay, thank you very much for listening. I hope that you all get lots of blowjobs. Bye!